Roman Alessandrini started for Rennes for the first time since his cruciate ligament injury back in February as they welcomed Valenciennes and their new coach Ariel Jacobs to the Stade de la Route de Lorient. Well, the 16-year-old Belgian has led Anderlecht to the Belgian title twice in 2010 and 2012 as well as FC Copenhagen to the Danish title in 2013. His task is now to keep Valenciennes in Ligue 1 this season. Well, things that didn't get off to the ideal start as Jonathan Pituapa Slipped through for Fouet Kadir here in only the seventh minute and he fired Ren in front with this ferocious drive. Well, he was actually offside here, the Franco-Algerian, but the flag stayed down and it was a wonderful finish to put the club from Brittany 1-0 up. Well, Anthony Letalek then came close for Valenciennes at the other end, getting on the end of this Mao Melikson corner, but denied by Benoit Costil who was called into action again when Mathieu Dossovi unleashed from distance. Conceding the corner. It was a rasping drive from outside the area. So, 1-0 at the half-time break then. It was more hard times for Valenciennes as their central defender, Lindsay Rose, was forced off with injury just a few minutes before the break. And Ariel Jacobs would have had his head in his hands as his side went 2-0 down. A simple goal, Petwapa in for Fouad Kadir, completely unmarked in the Valenciennes area, making it 2-0. That already his second brace of the campaign and his fourth goal overall in this league 1 season. But a simple goal. And Ren just kept coming forward. Looking for that third goal to kill off the match. An attempt here and Alessandrini almost getting to the rebound. Nicola Penato vigilant. Valenciennes then managed to pull a goal back. As Anthony Letalek scooped in his first goal in almost a year in Ligue 1. From this Mao Melikson free kick which had taken a slight deflection. May have upset Benoit Costil there. Unable to gather the ball. Valenciennes with a lifeline. But then came a chance for Ren to kill the game off. Alessandrini jinking inside, but just failing to get the shot away. And how he would come to regret that miss as barely 30 seconds later at the other end, Valenciennes made it 2 2. And Marco da Silva with a wonderful strike, although it did take a deflection. And crucifying Ren. The wonderful goal for his first start in Ligue 1. Whistles and boos ringing out around the Stade de la Rue de Lorient and targeting Alessandrini in particular after he failed to score that third goal there. And so a, a valuable point for Valenciennes and for Ariel Jacobs as it finished 2-all.